Before you're able to do that, you need to know how to draw. That's why I say people that are already engaged in art will be doing that kind of stuff. They'll be doing figure drawing classes. Yeah, they'll, they'll be going out and studying animals in zoos. They'll be looking on the TV, on the internet, and look for real things out there. Go and look at buildings, go and take photographs. Feels very nice in the hands. Um, and to buy one, you have to be lucky enough to be at a Comic Con where I have some. I was going to make some last week to bring today, but I had the flu all week. Uh, which doesn't go well with going to the workshop and making one. So sadly, I didn't make any, and I do apologise for that. Uh, but hopefully, I'll have some in August when we do uh, the, the main whole Comic Con. So there you go, that is the John. Marvellous. Okay, let's spin this wheel again, John. Oh, the pressure. And, uh... Oh, now then. <laughs> Anyone know who this is, ladies and gentlemen? It is indeed Sean Bean. Be more dog. <laughs> 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 Yeah, so uh, I'm Sean Bean's face in uh, Final Fantasy. Or, or as he might put it, I'm his, he's my voice. Um, so when they, uh, any Final Fantasy fans in the room? Just the one. Any Harry Potter fans in the room? <laughs> Fine! No. Spec savers. No. Oh, wow, look at this. Look at this from behind the camera. So, uh, uh, Final Fantasy, a huge gaming franchise, been going how many years? 15? Long time ago. Long time, massive. I mean, the franchise itself is, is comparable to, find, to Harry Potter in its scale and its, you know, the, 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 the love of it for its fans. Uh, but the, 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 re the most recent game, Final Fantasy 15, has been a long time coming. Um, so it's quite a big deal when it came out this year. And in order to kind of win the fans over because of the delay, they decided to not only make the game, which is pretty impressive, the Final Fantasy XV game on PlayStation is pretty impressive, they also secretly, without anyone finding out, made a feature film as well, which is quite hard to do these days to keep something secret. So right up until the day this was launched, the feature film, fans never knew. So like they, they were quite worried they might not even get a game, and not only didn't they get the game, they got a feature film. And it's quite a big deal, and they managed to... Um, and I was cast as King Regis, and the film is kind of about King Regis. Um, and it's a parallel story to the game. It's a very clever construct. So in the game, you play my son, Noctis. And in the, in the film, you follow me, King Regis. And at the beginning of the film, I send Noctis off on an adventure, which ends up being the game. So it's quite well thought out. But because King Regis is a really big part, and then Sony, who were distributing it, said to the company, well, if you want us to distribute it, you better get some big names attached. So of course, um, because it was all uh, motion capture, they couldn't really get big names to wear the motion capture suit for three weeks and do all the hard work. They got people like me to do that. But they could get big names to come in for two days and record the voice. So, so they got uh, Sean Bean to come in and re-record all the voice I did. Although he was listening to me on his headphones when he did it. So it's like he'd listen to what I said and then he'd beanify it. Um, <laughs> and they got Lena Headey, who's a fairly big name, in Game of Thrones, to do uh, Luna, the lead girl. And then the main character, uh, well, the, the, the protagonist, um, uh, the young character, Nyx, uh, they got uh, Aaron Paul from Breaking Bad, amongst other things. 
So they, so they went to Sony and said, yeah, we've done it, we've got three big names doing the voices. Uh, so yeah, so it has Aaron Paul, Lena Headey and Sean Bean. Um, but I don't speak English, just Sean Bean just came in and did the voice. A little bit, so you can bounce, so you're ready to go in that direction. Depending if you're right or left handed, the hand that has got your wand in should be at the front. <laughs> and just raise that up and point it towards your aim. So that's kind of guiding your aim really, okay? So you like this. Shoulder height, not too high, not too low. And then bring the other hand with the wand right over your head. You've got to keep that shoulder, back shoulder, back. Right over your head, okay? Dropping the wand is entirely optional. <laughs> <laughs> that is your method. Okay, so, so this is how we start, yeah? So, Keep slamming your butt, bent on knees, so I've got an arm out, that's how we're saying. And we've got this one coming up to the top, close to the end. Has everyone got that? Show me that, we're going to come down the line. 3-5, 3-5. That's a turn around that way. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. The genius of this is that it works for Final Fantasy, that went there. And uh, Harry Potter, the rest of you, because they both do exactly the same move. It's almost like I planned it. I didn't, it was just a coincidence, I suppose. Uh, so obviously, uh, if I'm a Death Eater, um, la la land on the train track, you're the Hogwarts Express, madam, right there. Give me a little bit of train movement. Come <laughs> on, give me a little bit of train movement. Come on, train train movement. Come on. <laughs> be the train, be the train. <laughs> Track, black smoke, land on the track. See this? I got my wand as well. I my wand, I had my wand there, so my wand was sort of there, like that, I think. Uh, something like that. There we go. And see the train, and how do you stop? How do you stop a, a steaming express? You just go. <laughs> Ta da! Whereas King Regis, King Regis, uh, towards the end of the film, he's fighting the bad guy. And uh, he, he has the power of the crystal, and, uh, and he, can, he can do all sorts of magical spells. And he's just about to, he turns around, he's just about to be attacked by the bad guy, and he goes... <laughs> <laughs> so, that worked out lucky. When they asked me to do that on Final Fantasy, they said, oh, the Jap Japanese director was a translator, so he said something in Japanese, and she said, oh, John, the director said, could you raise your hand like this? And I said, ah! Uh, I do that in Harry Potter. I don't want you to kind of do that and then wish you hadn't done it because I do it in Harry Potter. She then translates that to the director. The director then laughs. <laughs> and then they all laugh a little bit and then she translates back, oh, he said we know. <laughs> <laughs> we, we know you do this in Harry Potter, so we like you do it in Harry Potter too. <laughs> so, uh, that's why I do the same movie in both films. Nice and easy. Just that. Salutations! <laughs> this is three out of four of Team Ruby and our uh, tour guide for today, Uwe. Today we are at Hall Comic Con, which is very fun to the three young. Very nice. I, I agree very much. Great pleased. day out. Yeah. Really recommend it. Hall Comic Con is a great Comic Con to go to. Honestly, I recommend it. Oh, and I can't wait to see who wins the cosplay competition. <laughs> wink, However, wink, I did wink, wink. lost an arm. That's the only downside. Yeah. Other than that, really good day. Recommend it to all y'all out there. There's a really good cameraman. There is. Very good cameraman. <laughs> Stop there. Great community. Everyone's been great. Got loads of photos with other cosplayers and had a good time. And I won the raffle and I got a deep ticket. Don't say that. <laughs> now that actually got quite a bit of interest again online. I was only doing it for my own amusement, really, but it, I got a few people writing to me saying, I really like your writing style. Would you be interested in, in writing something more like a book? And a couple, of, a couple of small publishers got in touch. This story doesn't end that well, but I ended up writing my first novel, which is called American Spoon Indigo. And it was, it was about... This is generally where I start to lose people. It was about cutlery. It was a it was a cutlery based detective noir, and all the main characters were either forks or spoons. Um, the, the main character was a fork, and, and it was it was in love with a spoon. Take Button Moon. It, it was one of the reviews said Douglas Adams meets Button Moon, which which I, I took as a compliment. Yeah. Um, and the old New Fork City. 
See what I did there? On your foot, go on. Yeah, you see, yeah, you see, got that. <laughs> it was awful. I mean, I like, genuinely, first and awful, but I enjoyed writing. It was a good experience, and I was fortunate enough to get a 500 print run with a small publisher. Um, and I, yes, sir. So basically, this book you wrote was like was a country version of a Dick Tracy? More sort of Mickey Spillane, but yeah, ah. that kind of thing. So it was a detective mm -hmm. that was a fork. Nice. <laughs>